Check it out, YouTube. Got an update for you about the ranch hand situation. As you can probably tell by the uh, white stuff on the ground and the way I'm dressed, we're back up north. Even the pickup's back up north, waiting for her great meeting with ranch hand coming up here soon. I finally got a date. I asked them if I could uh, if I could film, but I never really got an, an answer. So when this when this whole thing happens, um, I will see if I can film, and if I can, I can't. Then I'll just update you guys when it's all said and done. But uh, speaking of done, we are done with Florida. Not like a hundred percent, but because um, because I still own the house. Um, it was sold, and then the buyers like bought a new truck or something. So screwed me completely. So I still got it. So if anybody wants a house in Florida, just send me a message. Uh, I got a good deal on one, but. Um, we're back up in the cold and it is much much more enjoyable than sweating my ass off at seven o'clock in the morning every day but we gotta go and uh, head to the store real quick so i got the truck warming up we got little shop dog rosie back and she likes to go for rides so we might as well bring her with there she goes off in her seat so anyways, we got uh, we got the meeting on the week of the 16th of January, uh, which is which is coming up here pretty quick. Um, after that happens, I'll fill you guys in to see what see what happens with what they say uh, after the engineers look at it. They got a lot of people yelling at me demanding money um, before before I even let them look at it. You know it, that's not. I have a, some understanding with how corporate America works. Um, I feel like if I just demanded money and said, no, screw you guys, you can't look at my truck until you pay me a million dollars or whatever, I don't feel like that would work. I just I just don't. I'm not naive. I know how things work uh, with, with, with corporate America. And I'm hoping to strike a deal. We'll see what happens. Um, and if nothing happens, then nothing happens. At least I have a working bumper now. Um, and I still have tons of people contacting me on how to repair and uh, their bumpers that they have and make them work. Um, I'm not so sure if you can, you might not be able to see that. No, you can't, you can't see that. But there's a ranch hand bumper behind me uh, on another pickup. And that's kind of what got me into getting mine. And I have since influenced other people to get theirs for their 2021 F-150s. So I'm hoping to, um, come up with an answer to this problem that some people in myself included were having uh, and bring this to a resolution while working with a very large company now so we shall see what ends up happening with all of this um, I will update you guys once I know more and that's coming up here very very soon in the next week and a half two weeks so make sure you check in stay tuned and do all that fun stuff. I'm not gonna ask the what everybody else asks all the time. If you want to follow me, you'll follow me because we got some cool shit coming up, and uh, I gotta figure out a place to live. So it's gonna be an, it's gonna be an adventure. That's for sure. I mean, I do have my little enclosed trailer, which, by the way, was a awesome adventure towing cross country. With his little half ton getting 6.2 miles to the gallon, but that was fine. So uh, we're we're up north now, having fun, and on to the next chapter of my existence. Um, so me and Rosie, the shop dog, are going to go have some fun. We're gonna go we're gonna go get a Mega Millions and see if we can just can't retire. That's honestly what we're about to do, because you can't win if you don't at least have one ticket. So we're gonna go buy one ticket. Anyways, I'll update you guys coming up here shortly. As always, thanks for checking in to JDS Outdoors and this random adventure of let's see where the heck my life ends up. That's what's up. See you guys later.